All right, let's now get you some updates back home from India where Union Home Minister Amit Shah has chaired a high-level meeting on Jammu and Kashmir. He's met with the National Security Advisor Ajit Doval. He's also met with the Home Secretary and other officials today amidst a massive security build-up that is presently underway in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, there have been intelligence reports that terrorists have made multiple infiltration attempts to launch an attack similar to the one that took place in Pulwama back in the month of February. Now, interestingly, the governor of the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir, remember Jammu and Kashmir does not have an elected government at this point of time, it was dissolved. Now, the governor has tried to clear a bit of the air over the prevailing security situation in the region. Governor Satyapal Malik, without disclosing too much information, has asked people not to panic. He's also stated that at this point of time, that no one should listen to any of the rumours that are being circulated on social media. Now, all of this after tourists and Amarnath pilgrims in what is essentially an unprecedented measure from the time of India's independence have been advised to leave the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir at the earliest due to some certain security concerns. Now, in a meeting, Satyapal Malik, the governor, has asked the political parties not to stoke unnecessary fear amongst the people. The Malik has also reiterated that all the news swirling around Jammu and Kashmir is akin to rumour mongering. Now, interestingly, Malik has also touched upon the speculation surrounding the provisions related to Jammu and Kashmir's special identity. He has said, and I quote, For now, there is no inclination that anything is going to happen here. This after the state government has issued an advisory on security and it said that Amarnath Yatra is being curtailed owing to intelligence inputs on terror threats. Also on Friday, in a joint press conference, the Indian Army and Jammu and Kashmir police had said that an arms cache, including IEDs, had been recovered en route to Amarnath. Now, the Army has said that a landmine had marks of Pakistan Ordnance Factory and that Islamabad has been trying to disrupt peace in Jammu and Kashmir. And the Army has assured the people of Jammu and Kashmir that peace will prevail at pretty much any cost. First of all, sorry, good afternoon. So first of all... All right, now one of Europe's biggest annual Pride festivals is kicked off on the canals of Amsterdam. Over 500,000 visitors from across the world are expected to be a part of this nine-day extravaganza in Netherlands. At least about eight 80 boats representing a different variety of organizations from the LGBTQ community have been arranged for the visitors. The theme of this year's festival, remember the past and create the future. And the parade commemorates the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall riots in New York. A gay bar named Stonewall had been raided by the New York police back in the year 1969. The incident had set off riots and had catalyzed the modern gay rights movement. The Stonewall riot incident is seen as a pivotal movement in the history of the LGBT community. Now, the Indian Space Research Organization has released the very first pictures of planet Earth as viewed by Chandrayaan-2, India's second mission to the moon. In a series of tweets, ISRO has shared Earth's pictures clicked by LI-4 camera of Chandrayaan-2's Vikram lander. Just two days back, Chandrayaan had a successful completion of the fourth orbit, raising manoeuvre. Now, the last Earth-bound manoeuvre is planned for day after tomorrow. Taking a billion dreams to the moon, Israel launched India's second lunar mission just two weeks back. On the 22nd of July, the satellite is of course scheduled to land on the surface of the moon on the 7th of September. If it surpasses the litmus test in September, then India will become, if, if the mission is successful, of being only the fourth country in the world of having soft landed on the moon. Three, two, one, zero. <laughs>